Finally tonight, it was a long wait, way too long. But today, a grateful nation finally gave a hero his due. John Blackstone on an injustice made right. In the naval battles of the Second World War, there were many acts of heroism. But what Carl Clark did wasn't recognized until today by the Secretary of the Navy. Clark is now 95 years old. He lived the first half of his life in a nation where racism was written into the rules, at home and in the U.S. Navy. In 1936, when I joined the Navy, a black man could be nothing but a servant for white officers. In May 1945, he was on the destroyer Aaron Ward when it came under attack by Japanese kamikaze pilots. He was on firefighting duty with seven others. First plane hit. It wiped out all of my, all of these guys, all of the seven men. Injured and alone, he put out every fire, keeping the ruined ship afloat as it was hit by six kamikazes. What gave you the courage to stay on the deck? It wasn't, the I don't think it was courage. I don't know what it was, but it, and the captain told me the next day after the battle, Clark, I want to thank you for saving my ship. He told me that. But to made out the battle report, they didn't even put my name in the battle report. Why couldn't they put that in the report? Because I was a black man. Because I was a black man. Clark figures the Navy just couldn't admit that a ship full of white sailors was saved by a black steward. Two years ago, a local congresswoman took up his cause, and today, 66 years later, he was finally awarded a medal for distinguished service in combat. He says it belongs to all those black sailors whose bravery went unrecognized. I'm going to mention about those men that went down on all those ships that I know. And now... <sighs> those men who did not live to see America change. John Blackstone, CBS News, Mountain View, California.